Hey everyone, it's Amanda Marie, and I am here today with the amazing Hunter Lloyd. And uh, I've talked before about Tyco. Tyco for me has is something I like to do for peace of mind, and then also for um, the physicality of it. And um, it just really helps me concentrate and get into a flow state. So um, I'm going to interview Hunter a little bit about how he got into Tyco. So thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, great. Um, so Hunter is my teacher, and um, yeah, I found him through a friend, and I just wanted to um, have him tell you a little bit about himself. So tell us about kind of how you got into Tyco, what your journey was there. Uh, how I discovered Tyco? Yeah. So I was actually in high school, and it was a, a the, lead, the founder Makoto, of Makoto Taiko at the time, he had asked if I would be interested in learning drums. And I've always been interested in, I want to learn percussion, I want to do a drum set, uh, but it's kind of difficult. You don't really have space and you might disturb the neighbors, kind of a, a, like that. Um, so this group was actually just one drum at the time and it was more like a youth group. So I was actually the first in the group that was under uh, age of 18 at the time. And then we start to grow and expand and realize like uh, the camaraderie within Taiko really creates strong bonds. Like I guess sometimes for life in, mm. in certain circumstances. And that's when I realized, you know, not only can you create strong bonds with uh, other form other players, but you're also making music together. You're also um, growing and learning together. And, I, and not only that, you also improve yourself, whether it's doing your own uh, growth or learning new songs or, or, hey, I did this okay, but I want to do better. And you meet other people with that same mindset. And that's, that's what I discovered in that, uh, through Taiko and realized that I really do enjoy that. And that's what, I guess, got me hooked for so long. Oh wow, that's amazing. So I know there are several different styles within Taiko. What styles have you gravitated toward most? Uh, the most, I guess, would be the Odaiko, the big drum. And in a lot of Japanese community groups or even professional groups, the Odaiko is usually sometimes reserved for like the leader or the the uh, most senior person or most talented person, but in America, not so much. It's not as as uh, emphasized. It's a, we're a little bit more free and open, and that's where I spend it all. Spent a lot of time practicing the daiko because you can use a lot of your energy, build your endurance and stamina, but also creativity and musicality by playing the odaiko. And some of the most impressive odaiko soloists or, or players are those that can go for 10 minutes straight and then go wow. and and uh you know play another song and there's lots of examples with for example like on the koza in professional group in japan run a marathon play a odaiko solo as they came back <laughs> crossing the finish line okay. and that's one thing about taiko is that you know raw energy but also precision and and uh, discipline and and your stamina and endurance that you're working towards to play taiko where you can go all out 150 percent. That's why I kind of levitated towards that with taiko. But but a lot of other pieces or styles can also do the same thing. It's I think that's why well taiko can be pretty popular. That's why I like it. So, also with your playing, you are an instructor, so how did that come about, becoming an instructor? It was kind of a gradual transition, mm -hmm. and the point where I realized that I really enjoyed doing it was when I was teaching the kids when I first started. Mm -hmm. I was like, mm -hmm maybe when I was 16 or something but then when I got older and the other youths that were coming in that you know when I'm in my 30s and they're in their 13 or 14 15 year olds and I can 
share what I learned from Taiko. And I think it's important um, to have something that you want to, you know, master. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll never master Taiko, and it's a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Even though it's a simple instrument, simple to, to play, there's still a lot of different things, and there's all these different layers that, um, that we have to kind of discover and learn. So what do you like most about teaching? I like those moments when the class is playing a song and everybody is almost like on point or perfect. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh wow, it's like we really worked hard to get that done and everyone feels it too. Like it's not just, you know, one person, you know, you could have 10 people and one person could be you know, exceptional, but if we're not trying to grow as a group, you're only as good as the worst player. Mm -hmm. And it's on the instructor too to make sure that you know we're not we're not just kind of um, leaving people out or you know based on what their initial skill is. Because I believe everybody can can learn taiko mm -hmm. um, at different paces, but it's trying to give them the tools to do it properly and there's a lot of instructors out there too or, or, or senseis out there technical musicians professional musicians that you know, they're also trying to share this art mm -hmm. but it's it can be delicate too like we have to make sure it's done properly it's done right taught correctly and there's there's many different schools that have different ideas of it but as long as we're kind of sharing that spirit that Taiko spirit, it's, it's important. That's amazing. Um, so how can people find out more about Taiko? Um, uh, Makoto Taiko, how can people find out more about it? How could someone join a class? Uh, so you can check out the website at makototaiko.org, um, also our Facebook uh, page as well. And we usually have classes maybe once or twice a year. So that's announced and we have these open sessions where you can try it out and see if it's something that you might like or um, you can come check out a performance and see if maybe that's really something you want to do. When is your next performance? Next performance is, so it'll be our concert, our annual concert, our 20th anniversary concert. And Amazing. it'll be in Arcadia June 8th and 9th. So Great. It's still. I'll go ahead and fast. put the in the description box so everyone can get tickets if you're interested in seeing a Taiko performance, um, which Hunter will be featured in. Huh. So um, I hope you enjoyed this interview. And um, like I said, if you're interested in Taiko, please check out in the description box. I'll have the website, and I'm going to go ahead and flash it now. The website as well as the Facebook page, um, so you can get better acquainted with Taiko. Okay. Bye, see you next week.